Hello everyone. Hopefully you're having a fantastic day today. So I've had some frog requests for tips and tricks. The first tip and trick I'm going to show you is when you hit level 10. Because not only do you get your first rogue quest right here, but you also start getting your talent points. And it's really, really easy to get seduced by these. Um, and let's go over them. If we go to the assassin tree, and this is classic burning crusade and i will do one for classic lich lich king but this is classic burning crusade classic hardcore and classic sod okay your nose never itches unless you make a video ever so i'll, I'll give you that piece of advice real quick uh, so let's go over these like i said this can be very very seductive if you've never played a rug before and you've not seen the end game okay so you're going through and you're looking at them oh my god this has i can do an improved gouge and my center strike does extra stuff and i can dodge real fast and it, it looks really really seductive um, when you look at the assassin tree malice increases your critical strike improved eviscerate you know does improve damage and you, you're seeing all these damage abilities stuff so when you look over here they're like damage dealt from striking behind backstab or ambush abilities is four percent here okay let's but then you're like master deception i really don't need that actually that's the first point you need um for burning crusade or for classic in sod you're only going to get so many points um, and the same with hardcore because it only goes up to level 60. So you're only going to have so many points to play with. And what you need to think about is the end game. You need to be useful in a group. And you need to be able to deal a lot of damage quickly. Um, if you're going to group and try to do raids or dungeons or something like that. And like I said, and if you're just going to go around playing a bit combat just is so seductive and it's so easy to get lured into this straight off on your first talent point because you see this reduce energy cost that means you can do it more often you don't get hit as much the effect duration of gouge which will allow you to bandage in battle or use a potion or whatever you can bandage and use a potion by the way um and you, you start looking at, hey, weapon chances, and you look at combat sword, and everybody just goes straight to here, or they'll go over to assassin, and they'll start, ooh, increase critical chance, strike. But your very first point actually needs to be here. And you actually need to run down this tree. Okay. Because you, you're going to need this. You're going to need Master Deception. Camouflage. Uh, improved Ambush. And most importantly, Improved Zap. Because unlike Retail, Zap does not automatically put you back into Stealth. You have to talent it. And if you want to go into groups and dungeons and do raids, you're going to need Improved Zap. They're called, it's called MSAP Rogues. Now you can take this tree and go down just to here. And that is perfectly fine. That is what I did in vanilla. Actually, I had to respect to take it. Because I got lured in by combat and assassin. Okay, I, I got to look at him and was like, oh my god. And then I had to respect and take this. Which cost me a lot of money. So, I'm going to show you the talents as I level on this character, what I take. Um, and I will tell you, going down the subtree first is hard. It's very hard to level this way. But once you start going into either assassin or combat, and you're going to want to take, and I'm going to show you the talents I do take, is Master Deception. It's going to be Camouflage. It's going to be Improved Ambush. And it's going to be improved zap. Okay, so that's a bunch of points right there. 
Then I'm going to come over here, and the only one I'm going to take here is Malice. I don't need the rest of them. Um, because a lot of them, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be soloing a lot of stuff, so I'm not going to worry about um, Backstab. Backstab can be used either in stealth or on stealth. However, Backstab is generally better in a group. But since I'm going to solo a lot of stuff, I'm not going to be using backstab as much. I will be using ambush quite a bit. And from there, I'm going to take lightning reflexes, precision. I am not going to be, I may take deflection depending on how many on points I ha absolutely have to get um, or that to get up to. But I will be taking dual wheel spe specialization. I will be taking sword specialization and dagger specialization. However, you don't have to take any of this. Um, but like I said, coming down here is very useful. And you can go down any of these trees. All of these trees are viable for leveling. They're all viable for doing great amount of damage. Even if you decide to come just to go sub and come all the way down and take every talent you can, you're fine. But the best actual thing is a McSpec. It comes down to Impsap. It takes Malice. And hopefully you have enough points for Ruthlessness or Relentless Strikes. And you come down and you do whatever specialization. Now for PvP, here's a big, here's a big thing. For PvP, Mace only. Don't, don't take Sword. Don't take Dagger. I see a lot of people and they just get owned in PvP. Okay? In PvP, it's Mace. For the simple fact, when you take Dual Well Specialization and you take Mace, when you take Mace all the way up, each time you put a point in that, it gives you a percent chance of going up. So as you can read, increases skill with Maces by one. Gives you a 1% chance to stun your target for 3 seconds with a mace. You're going to want to dual weld maces. And you're going to want to have that at 5 for PvP. Because each strike gives you a 5% chance to stun. And if you can keep your opponent stun locked, they can't do anything. So, it is maces. Now the other tip here... Is actually going to be in your weapons and I did follow you know I told you in the last video about pickpocketing I pickpocket all the time this is why I have max skills I have a dagger in my main hand because I can't do anything else but I mean I could put a sword in my main hand but it's not really gonna do me a whole lot of good and but I have the sword in my offhand now, optimally what I want is a main hand weapon that has over a 2.25 speed and an offhand weapon that is super fast. And what that is going to do is increase my DPS by two to three, four times. Okay. Here it's backwards, but my skills are kind of relying on it. But I'm fixing to take this road quest, which is going to give me another dagger. And I will do a video on this road quest and how to do it. But, like I said, I do pickpocket all the time, which is why if we look at my gold, I have two silver right now, which is fine. But I'm also trained in swords, so that's ten silver to get the swords. And, let's pull up my skills. Pull up first aid. First aid is at 59. Um... Yeah, it really doesn't show fishing, but my cooking's at 82. So, yeah, I'm able to get that up there. And my fishing is quite high. It's actually maxed. So, even though you can't really see it, but you can't see my first aids up. I have gotten all my skills up. I have bought all my skills that I need, which, to show you that. So, I don't have the money for these yet, but they're not until level 12. I've got two levels to make that pretty easy. 
but I have bought all my skills, no problem. And I still have money left over. So those are my quick tips and tricks for this video. Uh, like I said, I will be doing a video on this specific request. I will be doing a video on Lich King rogues because they changed some of the talents out. Um, I will also be doing hardcore because I had a request for, hey, you got any hardcore trips, tips, tips and tricks? I will level a rogue in hardcore and show you exactly what I did. And I will do season of discovery and show you what I took there because season of discovery is a little special. Ed, but it's special. Um, so there's some things you can get by without having to do. Um, now the big thing is, it's going to be professions. Okay, when when you take your professions, and you know we don't have a profession slot down here. So when you take your professions and you pick, as you get to, you get a gathering, or you can take two gatherings, two productions whatever let me point out the advantages and disadvantages of professions real quick too um you need to really think about them it's really easy to say i'm a rogue i wear leather i want to go into leather working and skinning if you're going to go in dungeon and classic wrong idea because dungeon and raid gear will surpass your leather working it will give you better gear. The There's only one set that's actually good at end game. The rest of them, you're gonna pass up. Um, and it's a, for like hardcore and season of discovery. The end game stuff for leatherworking is really difficult to make because a lot of it's mail. So you, you have to make all this mail stuff and either disenchant it, sell it on the auction house or just Vendor it before you can make the Storm Shroud armor, which is the set that's going to be good. Um, other than that, the dungeon and raid gear is going to surpass anything you can craft. Um, with the exception of sword smithing, which is a black smithing subcategory. A lot of people don't know this actually exists. And vanilla... When you take blacksmithing, you get up to a certain level, you can choose to become an armor smith, a swordsmith, you know, a weapon smith. And you can take this sub spec. Now it is difficult to make these weapons, but in classic, especially when you go into burning excuse me. Especially when you go into Burning Crusade. Okay. At level 63 in Burning Crusade, you can make Blaze Guard. And then when you hit level 70 and you start doing the heroic stuff, you can make Blaze Fury. And Blaze Fury is it's going to last you until tier 6 in the raids. It's a really, really kick-ass sword. So I always recommend go ahead and take mining and take blacksmithing. Even though you can't wear the gear for a while, but you can make your own weapons. And that is going to make a huge difference later on because the in-game weapons you can find unless you get really lucky with some of the drops the crafted weapons are going to do really well for you and i will show you the in-game stuff and on this character i will be taking blacksmithing and mining even though the level that is really hard i will take the time and do it and show you the difference and i will make another rogue that's leather working and Another option, a really good option set, is, you know, actually taking tailoring and enchanting on a rogue. Because you get to make your bags. Bag space is highly important. Um, and you can do your own enchants, which is highly important. So if you take, you know, something uh, like tailoring with it, which is easy to get the cloth, then you can disenchant the stuff you make in tailoring and use it to enchant your own stuff. Another really good combination is herbalism and alchemy. You can make your own potions, and a lot of times, some of those potions can save your butt. So you really have to think about what you want in the end game and what you want to do with it. Um, another really good one is engineering. 
though there's not a lot of leather stuff in engineering, there's a lot of utility stuff you can build. So, you know, you really think about what you want to do in game wise, but I will show you the difference between taking uh, leather working and blacksmithing on two different rogues. I will level them both up. Now we'll do this in regular, classic, Lich King, blah, blah, blah. Um, and my retail rogue is a blacksmith leather worker because I can just make alts, go mine, go scan, send it to that rogue, bada bing, bada boom. And that is also an option. You can take two production professions and make alts to go do get the stuff for you, um, which on hardcore I kind of recommend because that way you can just send the stuff to yourself. If that alt dies, no big deal. <laughs> okay. So your, your main's not dying. Uh, and, you know, two production professions like that in hardcore would be really great. Um, I You could take enchanting and alchemy together. You could take blacksmithing and, you know, leatherworking together. You can take engineering and enchanting. You know, all the good stuff become really, really useful. But have alts go farm it and send it to your main. But for this video, I'm going to close this video down here, and then I will show you how to do this rogue quest in the next video. So stay tuned for that. Have a great day.